time for area dancers to shine. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Kimberly Chapman, the Artistic Director for the Vineland Regional Dance Company. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. We are talking about your spring dance concert. Yes. Some exciting things happening this year, but talk to us a little bit about the Vineland Regional Dance Company because you bring in students from around the region and many of these students have gone on to professional careers in dance. And they also return back with us to perform and some of them will be returning to perform at this uh, performance because it is a tribute to a former dancer as well as it's um, kind of the Olympics of dance for us and to explain that a little bit to the public we are adjudicated and evaluated like Olympic athletes every year and this year the public will be able to come to it and we are ranked just like gold silver and bronze and for the last 30 years every year we've been like gold medalists and usually it's a private showing but this year the public will be able to be there for it and see and then afterward we are ranked um, within the northeastern United States as part of regional dance America. So really these are almost like a, a qualifier, a, an opportunity to move on to that next level and get that scoring. Why open it to the public this year? Well, it just so happens every year that the schedules mesh that way. Usually over the last 30 years, maybe five times that the person judging us and our performance have able to come together. It's not that we can or can't, it's just scheduling and it just this year it happened that the public will be able to be part of it, which we're really excited about. Now, you mentioned a tribute to one of your dancers. His name was Jonathan Phelps, yes. and this performance is called Shine. Talk to us a little bit about, about him and what we'll actually see. Jonathan Phelps was uh, a former Alvin Ailey dancer who danced with us for over 20 years and has choreographed 16 ballets on the company. He passed away last year and so we're honoring him for all his commitment to the dancers, to the art world, and he worked throughout the world. And so this ballet Shine was his last piece that he choreographed while he was alive. And it, we are fortunate enough that it was on us, the Vine Regional Dance Company, and it will open the whole show as a tribute to him. And really amazing to see some of the performance. You see reflections of Alvin Ailey in, in, in some of the choreography as well. But we'll see some amazing performers. Many of these performers, teenagers, will go on to a professional level. Yes, they do. And it's the training just like the Olympic athletes do. And, you know, they have to peak at that one moment for that one chance at the top of the run or the top and they work so long for one opportunity and that's exactly what the Violent Angel Dance Company does. We work all year long for one chance to see if we can get that goal. In addition to that though, performers, maybe even if they don't make it to a professional level, have the opportunity to really grow along this process of, of being dedicated to dance. Definitely. The dancers, whether they go on to be professional dancers or not, learn dedication, discipline, determination, commitment, responsibility, how to juggle all the stresses of daily life. And if you come to the show, you will be able to see ballet, modern, jazz, classical, and you'll see and, uh, and appreciate what these dancers do day in and day out. And again, this is happening on Saturday, March the 27th. Where is it actually being held? The Frank Warren Cheney Fine and Performing Arts Center at Cumberland County College. That's exit 29 off the 55 which is really close so uh, hopefully everybody in the surrounding community can come out and embrace this performance. Now do we need tickets for this event? You can get tickets at uh on the screen there, www.vrdc.org, and tickets run from $20 to $35. Now, you have amazing performances throughout the year, and many of them feature your younger dancers, but at this one, we're going to be able to see dancers that have worked for years put in that hard work and dedication in order to get to a very high level of performance. Yes, these are my top dancers. These are the Olympic athletes of the Biden Regional Dance Company. Now, we just have a few seconds left, but the idea that an adjudicator will be there to judge them, what kind of nerves are going to be in this building? It is. It's very <laughs> stressful, but at the same time, it's that great and, um, energy and enthusiasm that will bring, I think, the performance to an even higher level that the public's used to seeing. So. Right, thanks so much, Kimberly. Absolutely. And again, it's happening on Saturday, March the 27th at Cumberland County College. Thanks for being with Thank us. You. We've been talking with Kimberly Chapman, Artistic Director for the Vineland Regional Dance Company. I'm Jill Horner.